Hello everyone. It is Wednesday. Although I got mixed up on the days today. It's Wednesday, March 30th, 2022. And this is week 13 of 52 weeks of dishcloths. Um, that clock's not working, but it's actually pretty close to the right time. I think it's 11.55. <laughs> yeah, I'm just getting in under the wire recording this on the Wednesday. Um, I don't know what happened and my time got away from me <laughs> today. So let's do this now. Um, I have something a little different. I was working on the white rabbit last week and I didn't like the way it came out. So I didn't bring that dishcloth to show. Oh, wait a minute. I had another one. Well, I'm not going to show that one either. Those two will wait. I'm, I'm, I have another white rabbit to show, but I don't have it with me. Um, what I'm, and instead of starting to run around, I want to talk about what I want to talk about this week. I um, First of all, I'm going to do it out of order and show you some acquisitions. Not all my quilting acquisitions, just some cotton yarn acquisitions. My friend Lorinda was in the States, or is in the States. I think she was here last week and this week, and will be for a little while longer. She's from the Azores. And we had the opportunity to get together and go shopping at Hobby Lobby. Uh, yes. No, Monday. Monday. And um, so I want to talk about some cotton yarn that's available at Hobby Lobby. Which, at the time of this recording, I think it was 30% off. Oh, yes, here we go. I think it was 30% off. Yep, 30% off need a lot stuff and um, yarns. And uh, they have a few nice cotton yarns that you could use for dishcloths. So I'm going to show you what I got. They have what they call Crafter Secret, which is cotton, which is very much like the um, sugar and cream and peaches and cream. I guess made by Lily, I think it is. This is made with pride in U.S. You know, this is made in the United States. This is a cute um, variegated. If you want to do some uh, Christmas kind of things. And it is 100% cotton. It's two ounces. It's It's got a four on it. You know, the one, two, three, four numbers. That is the um, way in which yarns are universally uh, described for size. It is a four and it is 95 yards total um, yardage, 100% cotton. Two ounces, also 57 grams, that's what that works out to, 85 yards or 80, I mean 95 yards or 86 meters. So this costs 229 a ball. As I said, this week it's 30% off. If you watch, they have a lot of sales at Hobby Lobby. So this is a nice cotton you can get. And they have a lot of variegateds. And I'm finding that with dishcloths, the variegated looks nice. There was another, I picked up another Christmas one. All right, let's see if we have a name on this one. This one is called 104 Christmas Print. And this one is called 100 I Love Christmas. So I like these. And then this is a pretty one. This is called, this isn't Christmas, this is Spring. It's a one, number 146, the Spring Stripe. And I really like the greens with the uh, orchid um, springy colors. That's one type of it. And I didn't buy I didn't, I might go back and get some more. I know, I'm just going to be de-stashing cotton and I'm going back to buy more. That's what happens sometimes. But they have the, um, uh, I think the, I think it's called the Lily Peaches and Cream. And it's a combo cotton yarn with that scrubby kind of yarn in with it. And that looks interesting to me. Now, I have that scrubby yarn that I showed you a few episodes back that I could just mix with one of these. Maybe I'll try that before I buy more. I'll be using up what I have. So that's that. And then this is the I Love 
I love this cotton. This is softer. This they show you show more as to use for like scarves or hats and stuff that's gonna touch the skin. It's is a three ounce skein. It has 153 yards. It is a hundred percent cotton and it is made with the United States, made with United States fibers. These are three dollars and seventy-nine cents. And they're so cold. This is a cool speckled green and brown speckles. So I like this also. The other thing I got was, all right, here's the way this cake, it was a cake. You can see it's been dismantled, but it's called uh, Yan B, the sugar, the sugar wheel cotton, sugar wheel cotton, the, the, this color, this color was Granny's recipe, um, which was Gray's. Uh, my daughter-in-law has gray and white, um, like a gingham check in her kitchen. So I thought I could make some dishcloths for her in these colors because it was a very, no, it wasn't that it was very, it, it's not variegated. It is four different colors of gray. Here they are. Here they were. You can see this was the cake. I, I, I just took it apart because here it would be like, that was the cake. Only it was fat. <laughs> And it has, can you see there's a, it's midnight. So I've got a lot of lamps on in here. So that's a little lighter than that, but it was the color I started out with. So you started out with a light gray. I don't know how much difference you're going to see there. Then you went to the next gray. And then you went to this gray. See how it. This, well, you have to see the outside of it, not the inside, okay? And then it went to the darker gray here. So you have these four shades, which repeat because it gets light again in the middle. Now, if you're doing a nice cotton shawl, that would be pretty. But what I wanted to do is have a stripey effect. And if I kept, if I kept just pulling it off the, the cake, um, I would have had a whole dishcloth made, but only in one color. But you could do that and make four different colors, which would have been nice. But I tried to get a stripey look. And this is why I lost track of the time tonight. Because I think I really did know what day. I knew what day it was earlier. I picked up my grandson at 2 o'clock. Because I had to pick him up today. And Wednesday's is early dismissal. And I was on time. I just got, I got lost in time today. I wanted to mess around with that Afghan stitch. Because I, I think I talked about the Afghan stitch before when I found this big long afghan hook that i used to make you can make afghan pa panels this wide length of say whatever your length would be a bed a couch whatever and um this was what i this was in the back in the 70s we were doing this let me show you the right side here it is the right side hey what's that bubble i got a bumpy stitch right there let me See if that helps okay so um there's there i think the lights got it so it almost makes like a grid like eight o cloth where you could take any cross counted cross stitch designs and use a heavier threat like um a crochet wool if you're making a wool blanket um and in the afghan days you would um embroider like pansies tulips roses onto these long panels and then the panels in between you would do like a fancy um now what do you call them but um you know when you when you uh knit baubles baubles well you could crochet them easily too you do panels down the side that had like a raised design and then you do the the um counted cross stitch down the panels they were gorgeous beautiful i don't have one left i don't know what happened to those but anyway i wanted to mess around with this afghan stitch but it's also called tunisian crochet and i'm going to leave a couple of links down below in the uh, description box so you can kind of see what it looks like because it reminds me so much of knitting not because this looks like a knitting needle with a hook but because you're picking up stitches <coughs> excuse me one see right right now i have picked up a number of stitches and i put them on the hook i don't know if 
I can just demonstrate this. I'm on the dot, I'm on the dot color now. And what you do is you go back. It's going to be the wrong way. All right, you're going to see me from the back. But you go back and you pull stitches through. You pick up your yarn like that, like so, and you bring it through two stitches at a time. I'm not going to, I'm not, I have a hand set up over there, but I'm not going to set that up now. Look in the description box. You pick up your stitches and bring them back through these loops, and then you have nothing on the needle. And when you're coming back this way again, you're picking up stitches. So you're never working on the back side, which is nice. It's like knitting without curling. <laughs> I don't know. But I like this because this reminds me of what they call spa cloth. I know I, a few weeks back I had done a, a, a knitted one that was that looked like spa cloth. I wonder if I have it here. I think they called it some kind of spa cloth, which is nice. It's not that one. You see, we are accumulating, folks. We are accumulating a lot of... Uh, uh, is it this one? No. Talk about ill-prepared. Well, I wanted to officially get this started before the day turned into the next day. So, anyway. Tunisian crochet. Something like knitting. Just thought I'd touch on crochet this week. And also the... Um, Hobby Lobby shopping trip. I didn't tell the price on this one. This is a $5.99 um, cake, but you do get five ounces, uh, 335 yards, and it's that soft 100% cotton. This one's a little bit lighter than four. It's a three. It's probably like a DK weight. Yeah, it's just slightly smaller than the four. It's a three. But I like it, and they have gradient. No, would it be gradients? Yeah, I guess it's gradients because you're showing all these colors. So um, I'm going to make this one that has like very subtle stripes. See, I've just started into the darkest color now. Then I'll go back. I don't know. We'll see how long it is after I do my... I was doing... I did 10 rows here, and I did 5, 5, and I'm going to do 5 more. So that's 10, 20, 25. I'm thinking 30. Maybe... No. It wouldn't look right. It would be too short. I'm, I think I'm just going to do the dock just to make a square. Um, I think like some of those others I made, you'd have to block it because it's a soft cotton. But once you block these, they stay pretty good. So that's it for today. Just going to um, finish up that Tunisian stitch because I got carried away with it. It's really fun to do. Hope you enjoy it. And... I will see you next time. Bye now.